You guys, this is a big box. Where are you? I can't even see the box, it's so big. I purchased this off of a Facebook group, a seller on a Facebook group. She sent it priority two day mail. It took a week and a half to get here. I'll tell you all about it. Let's get to the video. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage. That's where I post deals and discount codes and sales related to these beautiful things we love and rare finds. This is a rare bag. It's a limited edition piece and I was very fortunate to get it from this seller and at a great price and it is brand new and purchased directly from the manufacturer. This seller too has been fantastic. I will put her name below. I will ask her first before I do that. So if you see her in the Facebook groups you'll know that she's someone that you can trust. So like I said she shipped it a week and a half ago and it was supposed to like she shipped it on a Monday. It was supposed to arrive on a Thursday. Thursday, which I mean even that's more than two days. Thursday came and went and we checked the tracking information and like there was nothing really. And then that Saturday it said that it was at the origin location where she shipped it from. Well it said that for several days, no updates at all, and then the updates disappeared completely and it just said arriving late but on its way. And then finally yesterday it said it was in Houston, so I figured I would get it today and I checked today and there were no updates it just said it was sitting in north houston which is where things come and i think that's like the big distribution center so it hadn't even gotten to my post office yet didn't say it was out for delivery but it showed up today so i wasn't expecting to film this today but i'm happy to do it i'm really excited about this bag and i'm talking way too much let's get into it all that to say that there's been a lot of anticipation and i'm very glad that this was not lost because like i said it is a special edition it's hard to get i haven't seen any videos at all on this bag i'm happy to be able to provide that content for youtube contribute to the world of youtube handbag information Oh, where'd you go? There you are. Very well packed with tissue paper to protect the bag. As you might imagine, it's a rather large bag. It's in here. More tissue paper on the bottom to protect it. Thank you so much, seller, for packaging it so well. All right, now to find where the edges are. Here they are. Got it out of the plastic. Now I'm trying to get it out of the tissue paper. It's all taped up, wrapped absolutely beautifully. I was so impressed with the seller and how she was handling the shipping and she was checking in with me and seeing how things were going and you know checking the tracking information updating me and I was also updating her and she was just really great. You know I've heard horror stories of some sellers when something like that happens they just block you which is awful can you imagine? But she was great. I'm going to reveal the top of the bag. Does anybody know what it is? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Ooh. I love it. I'm loving it. Okay. <gasps> there it is. Some of you are like, what on earth? That's hideous. Others of you are like, wow. Because you know what it is. This is the Coach Rogue. 38 centimeter tote. And this is part of the Basquiat collaboration. So that's what that artwork is that some people really, really, really don't like. I have learned from the comment section. I get it. I, I know it's not for everybody, but I love it. All right, so here is the front of the bag. Here is one side of the bag. It has a little elephant. And it says non-toxic, non-hardening. Funny little illustrations. I love them. On the back, it says world famous, just like me. It has Basquiat signature crown, volume one, thesis, various studies of human anatomy and world history, Jean-Michel Basquiat, 1983. I love that it has his name on it and whatever that says at the bottom. If I remember correctly, this came from a notebook of his, that part of the illustration. And there's a kitty cat, and that looks like a little bird going through a door. And what does this say? Nothing to be gained here. So that's the new bag. 
It is quite wrapped up inside and there's still quite a bit to show you. Let me get it unwrapped and we'll take a look at this together. I love it. I love the taupe color. At some point in the video, I'll grab my Coach Basquiat Beat 18 and show you that. And I can get also my Pez dispenser, it's what it's called, my Rexy Basquiat bag charm and put it on here and see how that looks. Tell you what, Coach wraps their bags like no one else. Every little thing is protected. There's a dust bag inside. This bag is huge. I love that about it. it has a nice leather smell as well. Finally got it all unwrapped. I have to scoot way over. This bag is so big. So here's how it looks unwrapped. You already saw the outside, so I'll just spin that really quickly. I didn't show you the bottom. It has four feet. And what does it say? Genuine glove tanned leather. Very nice base to a bag. The interior. Well, first of all, you didn't see the handles. They're very nice structured handles. They're not very bendy. There's something inside there that keeps them nice and structured. And inside, it is one big open space, and it's the same leather as on the outside of the bag. You can see that it has a snap hook closure right there in the middle. So obviously no zipper, but I could attach it like that to keep the bag somewhat closed. And it also has one, two, three, four D-rings. And I'll show you options for those in just a minute. I also wanted to show you the tag that's on it here. This bag is actually part of the men's line. So when I was talking about the Coach Basquiat collection bags that I was interested in, I didn't mention this one because I forgot about it because it was part of the men's line. But I mentioned another bag. I mentioned this one and I was saying that that was the one I really wanted and it was a $1,400 bag and I didn't want to pay that much for a coach bag. I missed it on the outlet. So the way that this bag ended up with me is one of you saw that and then you saw this bag being offered by the seller in the Facebook group. The viewer of mine thought this was the same bag so she told me about it and I can't believe I forgot about this one because I actually like this bag better. A lot of it has to do with being the taupe color and not that much lighter beige. This just goes a lot better with my wardrobe. I love how neutral this bag is. Even though it has the spot of color here, it's still a pretty neutral color. It's like a rust color. This is the front, but I could also wear it with the back showing, which is even more neutral. They're both just really beautiful, I think. I also love this one more than the other one. I do still love the other one. Just because it's not a typical rogue. They're just not, I know a lot of people love rogues and I don't have anything against them. They're just not for me. I don't know what to say. I prefer a big open tote. It's not as creative as the rogue and all its pockets and everything, but I just love a big open tote. It works really well for me. But I wanted to show you the tag on this because you will see that this too was a $1,400 bag. That's the retail price. Both of these two bags that I'm talking about, it's very difficult to find them. I've seen the other one more often than I've seen this one up for sale. I'm still pretty amazed that I was able to get this. They're just very rare. I think the people that bought them kept them. They haven't been on the resale market. And I was very, very fortunate to get this like I said, brand new for less than half of retail, which is really, really amazing. Like I'm, spe I, I'm kind of speechless. As soon as I found this and saw it and like I was told about it, as soon as I knew it was available to me, I jumped on it and purchased it immediately. I do still have a few things to show you. There are three little extras that come with the bag that make it an even better value. One is this detachable pouch. Let me get the bag out of the way because it's taking up the whole screen, isn't it? So it comes with this quite large detachable pouch. I should give you the measurements for the bag too. The pouch is 11 and a half inches by eight inches tall. Looks like this on the front and just plain on the back. The whole bag has silver hardware. You probably noticed that already. This has a little leather zipper pull and inside, it is also leather. And it comes with this non-detachable strap, very much like the Neverfull pouch. You can just hook it to itself and have a wristlet, or you can hook it to one of those D-rings inside the bag or to something else. The hardware says coach right there. And of course the creed is on the front there. You saw that. Let me read this to you because it's a special one. At the very top on the line or over the creed, it says coach X. Hold on, I need my magnifying glass. That's what I thought it said, but I couldn't tell. Okay, coach. X, which is that they go together, they collabed Jean-Michel Basquiat. And then the actual creed says, this is a coach bag featuring artwork by the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat made of the finest materials. 
It combines our heritage of craftsmanship with Basquiat's vision of color and self-expression. And then it has the number below it and something about the estate of Jean-Michel Basquiat, licensed by Artstar, Artistar, New York. This leather, by the way, is very soft. So it comes with that. It also comes with a special hang tag. I'll show you up close. So it has this metal piece and then the horse and carriage are in metal and the bead chain is also that silver metal. It's stamped 1941, which is Coach's highest end line of their bags and other goods. And then on the back it says Coach and Jean-Michel Basquiat for the collaboration. And it was right down here where it says 1941 and I just noticed right above that it says Coach. And then the other thing it comes with, which oh, I'm so happy about and it kind of blows my mind that it came with this, is a very special strap. I love the strap. I'm so happy about it. So let me show you here. I didn't even realize this because I haven't seen many pictures of the strap. Most of the pictures of the bag online don't show the strap. So I didn't quite know what it would come with. I had no idea it was adjustable until I unboxed it. It has the Basquiat crown there and these snap hooks, silver hardware. Then on the other side, I love this. And I'm surprised it came with this kind of strap, this nice big fancy strap, because when the line came out, they were selling straps like this separately for a few hundred dollars. So just makes it all that much nicer. But it says famous there, love it. The hang tag clips onto this little D-ring there, looks like that. And let me grab my Rexy charm and see how that might look there. Not sure if that's gonna work. Here's my charm, also part of this collection. It has gold hardware, so right off the bat, that doesn't match. Let's see, what do we think? I don't know about that. I think if it was hanging from the side, that would work, but pretty much right on top of the guy here, and that's weird. And there's not a place to put it on the back. Now, I thought, like other rogue totes, and since it has these four D-rings inside, I thought it would come with two thin straps, Kind of like on the Louis Vuitton on the go, you know how it has the short handles and then it also has the long handles that tuck inside the bag. So I was looking for those and it didn't come with those. I paused filming so that I could go look for some photographs and see if I could find those because I thought it would come with those. I thought it would come with that and with this thick strap, but I guess it doesn't. And the photos that I found just in a quick search, I didn't find any that showed that strap or those two straps. So maybe it was only intended to come with this one. And I don't know if I can hook this to both. Yeah, it looks like I can hook it to both of those D-rings and that would help keep it closed better too. So there it is hooked to both of them and that would keep the weight of the bag evenly distributed. See, I have it hooked like that. Whereas if I'd only hooked it to one of them, like diagonal ones, then the bag can fall open and get kind of wonky when you're carrying it. I'm good with hooking it to both of those D-rings. Let me see if I can still get into the bag with it hooked like that. So with those hooked, I'd still be able to get down in there. Did one of those just come undone? Yeah, I'd still be able to reach my hand down there and get something if I needed, like my wallet. Okay, I don't think there's any need to do a what fits on this bag because anything would fit in it. But let me do a mod shot for you couple of mod shots. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, let me get the measurements of the bag for you. Okay, the base, 38 centimeters is 16 and a half inches, and the depth is about seven and a half. The height of the bag is about 13 inches, so it's very sizable, which is great because I love a big tote. All right, here's the bag next to me. I can almost hide behind it, it's so big. You can put it over your arm. It is a weighty bag. It's not light. It's not super heavy, but it's all leather, so it does have weight to it. These would not fit over your arm. I can fit it over my forearm like that, but otherwise, yeah, that's about it with those. Handheld is the way to go with those handles. And then this, well, I could definitely carry it crossbody. It's way down there, let me shorten it. So even on the shortest length, it falls pretty low on me, which is rare for a crossbody strap because I have a big circumference that way and things aren't usually that low. And I can still reach to the bottom, but I have to kind of lean over a little bit to reach it. That's how it would look crossbody. I think I would have to keep this on the shortest on the shortest length of the strap because I mean, it's <laughs> the bottom of the bag. I know you can't see it very well, but it's down at my knees. And there you go. I think it's really intended in this case to be crossbody. One comparison for you, this bag and my other Basquiat bag, the Beat 18. I mean, this could practically be a compact wallet inside this bag, right? Quite a size difference. But I wanted to show you just the, the artwork on the two bags and 
the taupe together. So nice. Now when I've shown the other Basquiat pieces, I have shown you the details on the bag and talked about sort of how it's done. So let me do that on this bag. Almost everything on the front of the bag is imprinted, at least the edges are, and then the color is printed on the bag. Let me see if I can show you any of that. It, it's like the edge of any of the drawings, if you run your finger over it, you can feel it go down. It's imprinted in that way. It's the same on this side of the bag, the same on this side of the bag, and the same on the back of the bag. The only exceptions to that, the only things that are not imprinted, and printed on is thesis here and the crown. Those you can see are stitched on with black thread. And then on the front of the bag, that word there, or those letters, those are stitched in with thread. Everything else is printed. So this has less embroidery on it than the smaller rogue bags. This one has embroidery on the word empire, the little spire, and the word New York on the back. This has no embroidery. I think these are gonna be my last Coach Basquiat pieces, although somebody posted in one of the Facebook groups, one of the Coach Facebook groups, that they may be coming out with new pieces for that collection, so we'll see. That just sounds like trouble to me, but I'm very happy with the three pieces I ended up with. I really wanted the charm. I bought that right away because I knew that would sell out. And then I was hoping to get a bag at a better price than retail when they first came out. And I'm so fortunate to have these two, especially that tote, which is so hard to find. The little Beat 18s, you can still find those for pretty good prices on the pre-loved market. Those retailed for $5.50, so anything below that is a good price. Well, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to start using my new tote. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that. The Beat won't get a whole lot of use because it's so tiny and it's such a special bag but it's one I wanted to have and it'll be one of those every once in a while bags and for me I'm good with having several every once in a while bags in my collection especially something as special as these pieces so I'm very happy with how things turned out oh you know what the two buildings on the end are also stitched so that has a lot of embroidery compared to the tote also one thing to point out I was just thinking about the embroidery and how this leather, it feels thin, but if it was really that thin, you'd be able to see the embroidery on the inside of the bag and you don't. So that means that there are two pieces of leather that are glued together probably. That would explain why there's not suede on the inside. It's the top layer of the leather. I was also noticing, I don't know if this would show up on camera at all. Let's see if I can get the light right. I don't think it'll show up. Maybe some there, maybe not. When you tilt it, you can see the veining in the leather, which I really like, very pretty. But anyway, two pieces of leather probably glued together and it has glazing on the top edge there. These end pieces obviously are stitched and then there's glazing down the ends of those. Those drawings are so cool. I really like that. I need to stop talking about it. I think I've said everything. I will say one more time that it's very beautiful and I'm very happy. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.